Yazoo County is making it hard on some students just trying to get to school. Closed roads have some buses changing their routes. WJTV 12's Alex Love has the story. Here on Highway 149, water levels are only a couple feet from reaching certain areas of the road. And if it floods like some predict next week, an entire community will be cut off from sending their kids to school. They usually have several county roads cutting through farmland, but lately locals of Holly Bluff have found themselves surrounded by fields and streets turned into lakes. It's usually right now planted with corn and just, just beautiful. I mean, farmland around here is what the whole community thrives on. And to see this water taking over our community is just devastating. For bus drivers like Frances Doris, that's brought many changes to how and where she drives her kids. My elementary has to get on a transfer, and that's something they're not used to. They're used to staying on my bus and getting on the same bus. And all that change for young students has left parents worried. Some of the people here have children in littler school, and they have to ride a transfer bus to get to their other schools, and we're just not very comfortable with that. Though spring break is next week, if the road remains flooded after it ends, some families will need to relocate just to keep their kids in school. My daughter-in-law, she works at Walmart. Myself and her and two of my grandchildren are going to be staying in Yazoo so I can keep them in school and transporting them back and forth through a car. Others, however, cannot afford to relocate. Now, I also spoke with the Yazoo County School District who told me if any students are affected getting to school by the flooding, they will be excused. Reporting in Yazoo County, Alex Love, WJTV 12 News.